morning prayer. God grant me privacy, secretive as the mole, inaccessibility, but only of the soul. Restore my waking time to vital present tense and dreams of love or crime to primal quiescence. God grant me certainty in kinship with the sky, air, earth, fire, sea, and the fresh inward eye. Whatever the enigma, the passion of the blood, grant me the metaphor to make it human good. And now I'm going to read prayer one. If I could pray, the gist of my demanding would be simply this, quietude, the ordered mind, erasure of the inner lie, and only love in every kiss. For puerile past a healing find in what the future may unwind in London or in Timbuktu. Save me from the fluent wrong, for only roots of reason bind to social good the things we do shooting sap to leaves of song, seeds of dissolution throng in roses of the fertile heart whose words are sheer lucidity. Eunuchs of the deed when one is young or broken wheels, both life and art, are ground and bogged in crudity. Compounded of reality are individual idiocies which mind, blessed is the tamed mind, can mend and build the holy city, till people seem to walk like trees, and man is measure of mankind. And now the final poem is Prayer 2. When eyes are open, let me see, let words be intimate with brain, and let the road, the house or tree, not sprawl across my life in vain. Nor let the undistinguished shops decay or suddenly be new, with books or squeaking mice and tops, or corset, brassiere and shoe, but I should be informed. The death and bird, birth of seasons, song hits, birds, and men shall qualify my breath, the architecture of my words. Let chapters of my single past be real, as in honest books, extending backwards to the very last, Names of thinkers, poets, crooks, let me dream the dream of man, always humbled by the mullish facts, the motive of a five-year plan, or hopes of peace in paper pacts. Let me not be isolated, uninvolved in man's defeat, but know my love reciprocated, dancing in the neutral seat. Thank you.